Well, obviously, what are your thoughts about coming here? I'm very excited. Um, they play my type of game, my getting up and down the court. You know, I'm a skinny guy, so I love to run. I love to get up and down the court. I'm excited to play for Coach Nelly and, and play for Keith Smart again. You know, that was my first head coach out of college in the CBA, so I'm very excited. That is obviously the big question, getting up and down the court. And for a big guy, that doesn't always suit his game, but, but it does for you. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of thin. So, you know, instead of slowing the game down and trying to bang with somebody, I'd rather run and try to jump over you or knock down an open jump shot. Is, is the Warriors game, I mean, it is pretty unique in the, in the league, the matchup game that Nelly plays, all the various different things that he does. Is that recognized by players throughout the league and something where you either say, I would like to play for that or, or maybe I wouldn't like to play for that? Yeah, it all depends on uh, the players' attributes. You know, um, I've always liked the running gun type of basketball because that's how I was raised. You know, um, that's that's the type of basketball I played when I was in high school. So, you know, it doesn't bother me. Some of the big guys, they don't like it because most of the guys shoot the, uh, most of the guards shoot the ball too much. But in this situation, everybody shoots it, you know, and. I, I, I'm coming into this situation trying to bring something to the table that the Warriors didn't have before I got here. You know, in the last two years they've been in the top two uh, um, in scoring. So I'm trying to come in and, and bring that defensive uh, edge to the game. What do you see as your role with these guys? My role is to uh, kind of mold mold some of the young guys into being defensive minded, you know, uh, and just giving it my 110% effort every time I touch the floor. You know, I'm, I'm by far the oldest guy on the team. You know, <laughs> I'll be 34 this year, and I think the next guy to me is 31 or 32. You know, I, I, I don't have a problem with that. So I got to lead by example and, um, and just go out there and show my work ethic every day. Last year you went to play for SAC most of the year. Yeah. Worst team, you know, one of the worst teams in the league. And then you went to Boston, one team uh, not very good, one team good, one team young, one team going for a championship. What, what was that like to, to go from that team to Boston uh, and find yourself in a totally different situation? It was tough. You know, um, for one, I hated to leave SAC because I still, uh, to this day, I still do feel like that that's my brothers, you know. And I've, I've never walked out on anyone when the time gets hard and we were struggling. You know, the young guys were trying to learn the new roles. We had coaching changes, you know, and and some of the older guys were ready to get out, you know, because the organization was changing. So it was hard for me to go from that to a group of guys that were already into, they already won a, a championship the year before, so I was on the outside looking in, you know, and learning new plays. And that was my first time ever being traded in the mid, mid, middle of the season. So. It was very difficult, but you know, God works in mysterious ways, and he, he he taught me a lot. You know, what don't kill you makes you stronger. So I'm trying to bring forth that what I've learned in that situation to the Warriors. I mean, it's kind of interesting that you would describe it as tough yeah. to go from that team to that team, but you're telling me that if you had your way, you would have never left Sacramento. Or not in the middle of not, not, to, not in the middle of the season. You know, I, I would have loved to play for, for Doc. Uh, from the beginning of the season because it's easier to get old plays out of your head and learn new plays then instead of trying to learn it in one week and go out there and don't mess the chemistry up, you know. Um, and have it all, a veterans camp to, to get to know how to play with guys. You know? But like I said, I've, I've always fought through the hard times. and I, I, If I had a choice, I wouldn't have left SAC. Well, what, what was it about that, about SAC you liked so much? Just the guys. The guys and the fans there are great. You know, just like the, the fans are here great. You know, coming up here playing, it gives you a feeling of appreciation. And that's the only thing I want when I step on the court is the pe people to appreciate me working hard. And they did that in SAC? Yeah, definitely. You mentioned the, the being older and the leadership role potentially. It's no secret that turmoil has kind of come with the Warriors in, in recent years, and now the comments that Stephen Jackson made a couple days ago. Do you think that part of your role can be just kind of solidifying things and, and showing guys how to do it here? Well, um, like I said, me me stepping forth, uh, leading by example. You know, like I've been in the league for 13 years, and this is my 19th. So, you know, some guys feel like they're privileged enough 
to ask to go somewhere else. And Steven Jackson is a, a real close friend of mine. And in somewhat, I understand what he's saying, but you know, I, I, me, in my own way, I leave it in the Lord's hands. You know, whatever happens, happens. If, if I'm playing on the court in, in Golden State, I gotta give it 110%, or if I'm in Miami, I gotta play, uh, give it 110%. So, you know, um, his mindset is looking at, it's almost time for us to stop playing, for him to stop playing, and me and him about the same age. But uh, I'm playing to, until the wheels fall off, <laughs> you know? So, and, and like last season, I was blessed, God, God willing, I was blessed, and I was put on the championship team. It just didn't turn out right, so, you know? I, I can't comment for somebody else, mm -hmm. but my mentality is, is just if it happens, it happens. You think having you here might kind of help him if you, if you guys are that good of friends in that? I, I hope he wants to stay. I would love to play with Steve. Uh, me and him played together in the CBA, and we tried out for many of teams uh, before he got on with San Antonio and before I got on with Detroit. So, you know, um, I know he works hard and his intentions are good. He wants to go out there and play hard for his team and his fans. So I love him to stay on my team. Speaking of Jack, are you friends with anybody else on the team? Do you have a relationship with any other? I words? played with Corey in, in LA, and um, and I played against the other guys, you know. And most of the guys on the team, I'm hoping that they know what type of person I am. You know, I'm I'm a happy-go-lucky type person. Uh, I don't hold grudges. If I elbowed you last year and you hit me in my stomach uh, this year, well, we'll do it to somebody else together, <laughs> you know. But um, I think that just being positive in the locker room and just you know, trying to rub off being being hard on guys, but not not too not too hard. You know, just constructive criticism will help out guys. And it's not my role to be the team leader because that was already established before I got here. I'm just trying to bring the plus to the game. You mentioned you like Nelly's system, and the system fits you. Are you ready to heck play the three if you have to? Man, I'm so excited because the last few years I've been told what I can and what I can't do, not by me going out there playing and seeing what I what I can do. You know, um, I, I'm used to being a role player, but, you know, if I can help the team in any other type of way, I will. And, you know, I can, I can shoot threes, but I've, I've never stepped out there to shoot them. I do it in practice and, and stuff like that, but my role was always to run the court, block shots, dunk on somebody, and set picks and roll, you know. And, and I see that it's, with this opportunity, I can I can broaden my game. Thank you very much. No